Okay, my water break is over. I'm back. I'm excited to keep it going. We're going to be moving on to chapter 34, A Meek Bodyguard. Last chapter, 33, we found out Louis' origin story. How he was pretty much like brought up in the back alley market and sold his livestock for carnivores to just eat fresh. So that's pretty messed up. And an interesting revelation about him, which explains so much about his character. So, with that being out of the way, let's get into the chapter. Two boys like the same girl. As the Meteor Festival draws near, how would their relationship fare? Honestly, my, my take on this is, is it's doomed. Because <laughs> Louis is due to be married to someone else regardless. He has a fiancé and responsibilities, obligations. So he's keeping Haru at a distance. For now. And Legacy is a carnivore, right? It's, and what we the revelation we got from Juno is they they're very much aware of their predatory instincts to eat herbivores. So any type of intimacy between Haru and Legosi, even though that they're just friends, he could easily eat her just off the drop of a hat. So it's a dangerous situation. And I don't see honestly I don't see it working between them yet. They don't have that uh chemistry. Anyway, let's get into it. So last we saw Louis, he was visiting uh, Tim's uh, murder site, Tim the Alpaca, who we saw get devoured in Chapter 1 by an unknown assailant. I still have my suspicions, but Legosi's like moving, moving further and further from the list. Just because we've been hanging out with him for so long, um, it just seems like it's less likely that it's Legosi. Even though it kind of seemed like it was setting, being set up to be that way from the beginning. I don't think so. And plus, I have my number one on the list. And it's someone who's been in the background the entire time. I pointed it out in my first chapter review. And I don't have any reason to believe otherwise. I'm, I'm sticking to it. Bill was on the list as well. But Bill is moving further and further down the list. Like, I don't... I'm, I'm really quick to write Bill off as a suspect who did it just because it seems like it was Bill's first time having meat at the back alley market from that old dude's finger, right? Because Bill didn't even know where it was before. He was taking rabbit blood to pep himself up during the performance, but other than that, it doesn't seem like he has a lot of meat usage. It's kind of crazy how this this series opened up with murder, but murder seems like it's la the murder seems kind of irrelevant, like an afterthought, like really just in the background, and I find that kind of interesting. And plus, even if Bill had uh, devoured him, what we learned from Doctor Panda, aka Goin, that's his real name, is you know you can actually go through meat withdrawal <laughs> from eating an herbivore, and Bill seems socially acclimated to being around herbivores. Um, yeah, he seems, like, socially acclimated just because he interacts with herbivores on a basis in Drama Club. So that doesn't seem like a problem, even though he knows where the back alley market is now. So, I don't know. Bill just doesn't seem like a suspect. Legos, he's still on the list, but he's the least likely a suspect, though, in my opinion, just because we spend so much time. Anyway, let's see if this develops into anything. I still know who my number one suspect is. It's someone we've already seen. Just don't have a name yet. Let's see. I can't be seen here. I need to go back to my room. I should try visiting Haru sometime. She seemed kind of upset yesterday, judging by her texts. What did they say? Haru, what? Are you mad at me? Doesn't matter when it's finally the day of the Meteor Festival. It won't matter. I won't matter at all. And he tried to call? That's messed up. Yeah, she's mad at you. that she's just being used for like that she's just being used for sex <laughs> one-sidedly and he won't uh, be her uh, date to the meteor festival so that that's that's a that, that's a sucky situation sheesh females why must they always act temperamental without an explanation why do you think man you're not returning her feelings like you're just 
I don't know. She's not gaining anything from you emotionally. That's why she's upset. Oh, I didn't even notice these fingers right here. There's someone stalking him. Huh. Whose hands were those? Okay, so I'm guessing that was this guy's hands right here. So was he trying to ambush Louie? Interesting. Okay, so Louie doesn't know he was being followed. Judging by these spots and bone structure, he must be a jaguar, not a leopard. What am I supposed to do with them? One minute earlier, I woke up early just so I can give a flower to Tim. Shoot, I didn't think Louie would be here. Guess I'll have to hide. I don't think he wants to see me right now. I just gotta hide here till he's gone. Oh, that's nice. So, because they were both friends with uh, Tim the Alpaca. And his death clearly had a had an effect on Louie, and that was Legosi's friend as well. So they're connected by Tim as well, so that's interesting. Okay, so Legosi's watching this guy, this leopard. Oh, so he was trying to do something then. If I didn't restrain this guy, he would have definitely attacked Louie. In that case, why? So he lets him breathe. I can't compete with the feline speed. I need to restrict his movements. Alright, his footsteps are getting quiet. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? Let me go. Shit, since when did Louis get a bodyguard? I'm just his junior, and I respect him. I'm starting to get the fee. Wait, I'm starting to get the bigger picture. I know what I need to do. Tell me, why didn't you try to attack Louis? Is he pulling his tail? This <laughs> is giving him a wedgie. Heh, <laughs> you're nothing special. Why should I tell you? Just go and do tricks for Louis. So he's pulling. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'll tell you. You should already know since you're a carnivore. There, there are a lot of carnivore students who are planning to lynch Louis. <gasps> what? They want Louis dead? I know he's an asshole, but why? There's a rumor going around that Louie will definitely become the next beast star after the festival. If he of all animals becomes the school's leader, the carnivore's social standing will suffer horribly. Ah, so it's the beast star title. It's finally becoming relevant now. <laughs> Look, I just wanted to go ahead of everyone else. Try to make a name for myself. You're a wolf, so you wouldn't understand how we feel. We gotta keep Louie in check. We'll suffer if we don't. If he stepped into a, if he stepped in to stop a fight between a wolf and a tiger, he has the best girl a guy could have all to himself. He paid his respects to an underclassman in secret, and compared that to me, whenever I try to take matters in my own hands, my methods are always aggressive and cut and conniving. Well. That is true. Louis does have more tact and more class than Legosi. But Legosi is kind of effective, though, at accomplishing things in his own way. So that's the difference between them. They work, for, they work for the same things, they just have different ways of going about it. So, you know, Legosi is acknowledging how Louis literally has it all. So, let's see. I'm outmatched. <laughs> and he's taking his, his frustration out on this jaguar right here. Uh, oh, I give, I give, I give, damn it. He's the most suitable bit. He's the most suitable beast to become a beast star. If a bunch of carnivores want to turn against them, then I'll protect them. Now I understand how Haru felt during the power outage yesterday. I mustn't ruin Haru and Louie's relationship. What does he mean by he understands? Oh, I get it now always being in danger it makes sense that he would think that way because Louis could have died right there this this uh, student carnivore had every intention to freaking kill Louis just because that's messed up so I'm glad that Legos he's starting to empathize with them because if Legos he hadn't been there Louis have most definitely died I mean he has a gun but <laughs> You know, he would have got taken by surprise, given how fast uh, Legosi 
he didn't even notice Legos he take out this Jaguar right here who's a stealth animal by the way they're ambushers so yeah he could just be killed at any moment and that's scary that's the reality which makes you empathize more with herbivores and see their point of view from things let's see I'll keep this one-sided love <laughs> to my grave it has always been like this it's impossible to protect Louie all by herself like she gets punched things are getting pretty dangerous if I'm gonna protect Louie I need to do something about my feelings for Haru oh is he gonna tell her he's gonna tell her has a bloody nose let's see what happened to you you're so weird has a tissue in his nose I just need to tell her how I feel dude you have a tissue in your nose a bloody tissue so really what's wrong does that hurt no it's just a nosebleed I've never confessed to anyone before he's gonna confess to her now in front of everybody that's awkward I never thought I'd confess to her since we were friends now if you're friends then what you know I could see it from Legosi's point of view sometimes things just have to be done and there is no perfect timing it's either you you do what you gotta do or you just it'll never get done so I understand this it's re that's relatable not everything is gonna be the perfect setting the perfect moment the perfect anything sometimes you just have to just get it over with and just do it yeah <laughs> really fights aren't good you know it doesn't seem very safe outside everyone's talking about it they're scared that a carnivore probably pulled the power I'm just glad nothing bad happened yeah what do you think Legosi? I I Haru I love wow oh, oh I'm getting stung by mosquitoes she knows oh wow she's ignoring she's trying to she's trying to stop him from saying it <laughs> Yep. Mm, no, you're not. How would you know? I could smell it if there were any bites. Yeah, with your with your clogged nostril. Okay, look. I'm. I just wanted to tell you that I love. Mm, my ears are itchy. She's covering her ears now. <laughs> She's really not letting him speak. Hey, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? What gives? That's what I should be saying. Why are you trying to tell me something that important when you've got a tissue up your nose? I'm not prepared for this. You're unbelievable. He's <laughs> chasing her around. Okay. Grabs her arm again. This always happens. Haru, I don't want to ruin the relationship we have now. You're important to me, and I respect Louis. I don't want to cause any harm, especially with how society is now. So, I'll tell you once. I want you to know how I feel. Let's meet here tomorrow at the Meteor Festival at 5 in the evening. I want you to listen to what I have to say. I respect it. Legacy taking charge like this? Taking the initiative? I like how he takes it upon himself. He's resolving to protect Louis better, but first getting rid of his emotional attachment to Haru so he could just move on. So Louis could fulfill his ambition. So he's like Louis Shadow in a sense. Even though these two always <laughs> have a, a complicated relationship with each other. There's a kind of kinship between them. Even though if they are uh, love rivals right now. So, oh I missed one. Now would be too sudden. But if it's tomorrow, you can prepare yourself, right? Or is like, that still sounds really stressful. Yeah, okay. Serious? See you tomorrow. Yeah, um, take care of your nose. Yeah, what should I do? Does it have to be tomorrow? I haven't been worked up over a guy in years. He doesn't want any harm, huh? But that's impossible, Legacy. As long as feral instincts exist in this world, animals will always live to hurt themselves and each other. That's an interesting observation from Haru. Because even if he does... Well... Even if he does uh, tell her... he just What Legos he wants is... He's not looking for validation or acceptance for, from Haru. He's just trying to clear his conscience. And even then... 
even if he tells her he loves her, he still hasn't told her that uh, he was the one that tried to eat her that night. So, I don't know, man. It's kind of tough. You know, I know he's not looking to get anything from Haru, but understanding. But at the same time, Haru doesn't know that. It's <laughs> just because of how random this was. And Haru's own instincts tell her to run away from Legosi. Uh, as a herbivore, right? So, I don't know. It's just a very interesting dynamic going on, going on right now. Uh oh, I didn't even notice these. Are these shadows? <gasps> oh, they got Haru. Hey, don't you agree, Legosi? She got taken. As, Log as Legosi makes up his mind, his beloved is dragged into unforgiving darkness. The meteor festival arc heats up. Okay, so this looks familiar. I remember chapter one, they showed uh, they showed a shadowy figure, but those were stu. But it was a student though that ate uh, Tim the alpaca. I'm just saying they look. It looks quite similar. The silhouette, but it might be someone else. We'll see. But who? But who just? I wonder if these are the guys responsible for the pre the predation events that, that have been happening around the city. Cause they've been uh they've been mentioning that like over the news and stuff and of course in the manga so i wonder if these guys are responsible here well that's it for chapter 34. ah uh, oh and uh looks like haru dropped her uh kicked off one of her shoes too so and legos he's good at tracking sense so it might have to be a rescue operation that's gonna happen now we'll see well, that's it. I'll see you during chapter 35. It's getting interesting now that Haru's been taken. What's gonna happen?